Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right, so a little show and tell for you guys today uh, here at the beginning of this video and then we'll get to today's video. So first off, I haven't had the opportunity to show you guys the dried results of the fiery volcano painting because I did the bloom letters and then I had that special piece that I showed you guys um, with the 3D designs and all of that and all the lines. So let me now show you the dried results of the fiery inferno piece. So it dried perfectly and you can see there's a lot of shimmer in there. And I waited to resin it because I wanted you guys to see the dried results before I resin it because then you just get the glare, right? But look how perfect it is. I'm super happy with it. It is on a 20 by 20 inch canvas. It is available for purchase for anyone who is interested. All right, so there's that. Then I wanna show, I don't remember if I showed you guys this. Did I show you this? Did I, sh I know I showed it to you, but did I show it to you with resin? I don't remember. I don't remember anything nowadays, but um, this is what it looks like with resin. And I'm trying to get like the light reflection in there so you guys can see the pretty shimmer in that. All right, so this is an 18 by 24 and is available and ready to go, ready to be purchased by anyone who is interested. I wanted to show you guys the wood letters. So yes, they are done. They are resined and you can see the shimmer in there. So there's the M, here's the H, there's the H, so pretty. They are perfect, the edges are perfect, the back is perfect. This is why taping is important. And here is the A. I think the A turned out to be my favorite. And there you go. So again, perfectly clean, perfectly clean sides. Everything is perfect. Um, another quick thing I wanted to show you, which I never got to show you guys, the finished resin results. This was a practice bloom I had done um, where I blew it out with the hair dryer. But look at all the shimmer. It's insane. This piece is insane. Now, I had to actually do two coats of resin on this because the original bloom paint was so heavy that the canvas kind of sagged in the middle. And yes, I did spray it with a lot of water on the back to like make it tight. But after the first coat, it still needed that second coat on it. But look how pretty this turned. I'm so pleased with the shimmer in this piece and how this turned out. This is a, I don't know what size this is. Huh. This is a 12 by 16 or a 14 by 18. One or the other. Must be a four, I don't know. I'll figure it out. But it is available for purchase for anyone who is interested. Okay, last thing I wanted to show you guys super quick is when I showed you guys the puddle painting, uh, the one that Joni won, I had a lot of people comment and say, oh, I loved the base as it was. Like they loved the puddle, but they really liked the way this was as it was with the um, design on the back. And a few of you had said, oh, I wish I had known I would have bought it. And I'm like, I had this. Um, you know, on sale and no one purchased it, which is why I ended up blobbing on it. But for those of you who are interested, I actually have another one. So I do, I did have two. Um, this is a 14 by 14. The other one's a 12 by 12, but this is a 14 by 14. It's done. It's perfect. I still need to stamp the back, but um, this one actually has a little more design than the other one did. But if you are interested in this piece, this is all done with resin and pigments, okay? If you are interested in this piece, it's a 14 by 14. I will not puddle paint on it. If you are interested in this, you can email me. If you're interested in any of the things I showed you today that are available for purchase, you can email me at canelasiraco at gmail.com. All right, that's all I wanted to show you. Don't forget, Tammy Anderson and I are heading to Charlotte, North Carolina. It's in like five weeks from now. It's insane, maybe even less than five weeks. Um, time is running out. Don't forget, we still have a seat sale. 
If you are interested in attending, you can save $50 off of your ticket. If you want information to come and see us February 18th and 19th, again, we're going to be hosting it at the Hyatt Hotel, which is literally five minutes from the airport. So you get free shuttle. You don't need to rent a car or take an Uber or anything like that. You got a free shuttle to the, to the hotel. And that's where we're going to be hosting it. And it's going to be a lot of fun. So if you're interested for more information, you can email Tammy and I at fluidartescape at gmail.com and we will send you all the information you need to know. All right, let's get started on today's color split painting. It's going to be a sunny, bright, sunshiny day. Be right back. All right, everybody. One quick thing I forgot to mention. I got these the other day. I'm so excited um, from Fluid Art Co. So they are Amsterdam paints, but they are the Expert Series, which means it's a better quality than the regular standard acrylic. Here, let me get a standard one. Hold on. Let's see here. So there's the regular standard, standard series, which is the Amsterdam paint we all love and use. And then there's the Expert Series, which is a little more expensive. Um, so I did get these. I got a bunch of them. I think I got like 14 colors all together. Um, but yeah, apparently they're higher pigmented, richer in color. I don't know what else. I'm still new to learning about the Expert series, so I don't know much about it. Uh, all I know is it's more expensive than this, but it's supposed to be better quality. Um, so I'm excited to try them. Now, the Expert series has about... 39 or 40 colors that the regular standard series does not have. For example, I cannot wait to try this color. It's called Thalo Blue Turquoise. Look at this. This is going to be a beautiful color. They also have a color that is not in the regular standard uh, indigo. Um, let's see. There's a mauve there. They don't have that in the regular standard colors. They've, like I said, there's 90 of them and, or sorry, 40 colors um, that they're just not in the regular series. Cobalt blue deep, which is a really beautiful color. But anywho, I cannot wait to play with these. I'm going to experiment with them soon. Um, oh, this one's a pretty one I wanted to show you. This is called Permanent Violet Opaque. That's a nice purple as well. So, and I've of course got them all done, ready in my Loli Veffy squeeze bottles. So I'm very excited to try those. So again, you can buy those paints at the Fluid Art Co. website. That link is in the description below. So yeah, you can get it from there. All right, so let's get started with today's color split. I'm going to be doing yellows. So um, I like yellow. Is it my favorite? Not really, but I like it anyway. And I figured I would do a nice, beautiful, bright sun, sun type, you know, sun type themed painting and um, kind of make it like sunset, sunrise color-ish. So my base paint, here we go. I've got the light yellow the medium yellow and the dark yellow. They call a mellow yellow. I don't know that song, but that kind of rung into mine. So light, medium, dark. The paint that I used is uh, Azo yellow or Azo yellow deep. Don't mind the duct tape. I had cracked the bottom. It came cracked when I had ordered it and it came cracked in the mail. So I taped it up with duct tape and saved it. But anywho, uh, Azo Yellow Deep is that. And mixed in with, of course, my Titanium White by Amsterdam, okay? So again, this has majority Titanium White with a little bit of the yellow. This is kind of almost 50-50. And then this one has majority yellow with just a little bit of white, all right? So that is my base. The colors I'm going to use are going to be interesting. Again, I wanted to kind of keep it light. I don't want it to go dark. Yellow and purple look beautiful together, but I did not want to add any purple into this because I wanted to keep it more fiery sunset kind of and sunrise kind of themed. So 
I'm gonna start with Pearl Canary Yellow. Now, this yellow looks similar to the base color, but I'm only using it because it's got the pearl shimmer to it, and I wanted to add the shimmer into the painting. Then, oh, so by Arteza. Then I have Pearl Amaranth Red by Arteza. Then, of course, 24 Karat Gold by Deco Art. Then I'm going to use Naples Yellow Red. And although it says red, this is by Amsterdam, although it says red, it's kind of like a peachy color to me. I don't know why, maybe because it's got red hue tones to it. Then I'm going to use, um, I, it says primary, but I'm pretty sure I have that wrong. I think it's permanent. I'm pretty sure I have that spelled wrong. Yes, I, I was right. Here it is. It's permanent magenta. I got to change that. It's not primary. It's permanent magenta by Winsor & Newton, a color I have not used in a long time. And then I have pearl tangerine orange by Arteza. So these are my colors and I'll show you. I'll put these here so you kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like. All right. So those, that's the base. Right, so I'm gonna be very light-handed on that one because I don't want it to take over the painting. I want it to be, you know, more on the lighter side. So this should be fun. Oh, I guess I better put this in the middle. Don't wanna screw that up. And then put these in the order that I want them to be in. I'm going to flood my canvas and I'll be right back. Right, everybody ready to go here so let's get started I'm gonna start with my yellows and try and remember to be light-handed with certain colors and while I'm doing this I'm gonna tell you guys a funny story so Sophia and I have been doing some movie nights um, after dinner her and I will sit down and watch like a Netflix movie or something so last night I came down to the studio to work on something really quick and I told her, pick a movie and I'll be up in like an hour and we'll watch it. She's like, okay. So I go up, I'm like, okay, you ready to watch a movie? And she's like, yeah. I said, okay, what did you pick? And she's like, oh, she's like, um, it's about an airplane and it gets hijacked. You know, nothing cartoonish. No, no, not my kid. She goes for something like action packed, right? So she's like, they get hijacked and it says something about there's a woman on board and, you know, uh, you know, I don't know, whatever, right? So I'm like, okay, that's fine. We'll watch that. <laughs> I should have paid attention to the actual um, info or like description of the movie because we're, we watch it, you know, we're like partly through and I'm like, okay, you know, whatever. Turns out it ends up being a movie about vampires and there's a vampire and then it just got so stupid and like crazy killing vampire blood sucking and I'm like Sophia what are we watching and she's like I don't know I thought it was just about like a hijacking of a plane and yada yada and I'm like oh my gosh at this point, we're already like halfway into the movie. So there's no point in turning it off because I obviously want to see how it ends too, right? So, okay, I went light-handed on this, but I'm just going to go a little light-handed again. I don't know. I always second-guess myself. I really do. Anywho, so needless to say, I was like, is this thing even PG-13? Like, are you even like supposed to be watching this? I said, you're going to have nightmares. Don't you come run into my room. <laughs> it was really funny. Anywho, it was a really dumb Netflix movie, but I said, next time I will choose the movie. But it was really funny though. Um, but she didn't have nightmares. She was fine. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I was like, that's it. You're done. You're not allowed to pick movies anymore unless it's like some sort of cartoon movie, like Disney movie or something like that. 
Anywho, all right, colors are down. Cross your fingers. Let's get started. Let's see what happens. Wow, it's so soft. I, I love it. Now, here's what I was thinking while I was in the middle of blowing it is I probably should have added red to this. And now I'm like kind of kicking myself for not adding a red because I really think red would have really made it pop. The magenta is nice, but I think red probably would have been a better idea. And I don't know why I didn't think of that until like literally mid blow, which was kind of crazy. However, I'm really liking how light and subtle this is. And typically my paintings have like rich, bold, in your face colors, but this one, this one's soft. This one's pretty. I'm really liking it a lot and like just kind of inspecting to see if there's anything I need to fix. Let's see here. Let me grab my Thomas stool as I dip my fingers into the paint. All right, let's see here. I think I want to try and bring the magenta out over here. Not moving very much, unfortunately. All right, that's a little better. <clears throat> All right, I don't think there's anything else really I want to fidget with. Maybe... All right, extended that a little bit down here. But aside from that, I'm not touching anything else. So I'm going to fix my edges and I'm gonna bring you guys in for a close up. Be right back. All right, everybody. So of course, as usual, don't forget to take your stick and you want to scrape those drips all the way across. Okay, do all four sides, come back 10 minutes later, do it again, and then do it a third time. Now, I wanted to show you guys not only should you scrape your drips and make sure they're clean, but one of the things I really, 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 really stress about is making sure that the sides of your canvases are completed and fixed up and touched up and they look perfect. And there's no part of the canvas showing. No white, no dry spots. Do you notice here how perfect my edges are? So that's when I say to you guys, oh, I'm going to fix up my edges. See, do you see that? Completely clean, you know, it's all symmetrical. Like, I mean, if it's falling over here, there's no like pink over here or anything like that. There's no part of the canvas showing. 
uh, I make sure that all four edges all the way around look just as nice as the top does because the side looks just as important. It's just as important as the top. So this is one of the big, big things that I have a really big pet peeve on when I see other artists creating art. Again, to each their own. But if you're going to do a painting and it's going to look beautiful on the top, you got to make sure the side looks just as beautiful. Because if it's not, then it's just unfinished. It's not finished, if you ask me. That's my personal opinion. But I really, truly believe that the side is just as important as the top. So keep that in mind. All right, let's get to the close-up. So here we go. And again, I'm kind of wishing I had added that little bit of red in it. I'm kind of regretting that. But I still love the piece. I just think a pop of red with all this yellow really, really would have worked out. Am I going to do another one and add red? No, <laughs> I'm not. But you're more than welcome to try and then send me pictures if you like. If you want to share what you did, you can definitely share that with me. But yeah, I won't do another one. I only tend to do one. All right, let's check it out with the lights off. Alrighty, lights are off, flash is on, and there should be quite a bit of shimmer in this because... A lot of the paints were Arteza plus the 24 karat gold. So there's definitely going to be a lot of shimmer happening in here, which is going to be beautiful once it does dry. So the colors really are really pretty. And again, I was going for a soft look. I wasn't going for that bold in your face kind of painting. So I guess I can say I achieved that in this piece most definitely look at all that shimmer it's insane so yeah i was definitely going for a softer palette and i think i did get that i just still think a little bit of red would have been nice and there you have it everyone um there it is let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below do you like the colors do you like yellow? Um, what do you want to see me do next? I am going to do more of the um, square, you know, design co uh, composition that Kathleen had me do because I really did enjoy that. So I'm definitely going to do more of those. So I'll kind of probably do a, a mix of these, then a square one, then maybe back to this. I do have some other projects I'm working on that are completely different. And those will be up on YouTube soon enough. But yeah, stay tuned for some new fun stuff that I'm doing. But until then, like I said, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Um, uh, everything you need to know is listed in the description below. There's links, discounts to all kinds of different products and, and company products that I use. If anyone is interested in this piece, you know what to do. You can email me at canalaseraco at gmail.com. And that is it for me for now. So until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.